Hello, hello, hello. It's a brand new day and this is our morning connection. How are you doing this morning? I'm Skip LaCour. I'm so glad you are here for our daily discipline, our habit, our morning ritual. Just you and me getting together. We're accountability partners. We're workout partners. Workout partners for the mind, for the heart, for the gut starting off our day. I'm just here uh, to remind you of who you really are, what you're all about, uh, making that imagination brighter of what you have in front of you. What do you need to do today? Uh, one step every single day, just keep on keeping on creating that life you really want. Uh, really experience those emotions that you really want. This is our mental toughness conditioning workout. I am so glad you are here. In this morning connection, I want to talk about how to be grateful during the hard times. How to be grateful during the hard times, that's what I want to talk about, give you some things to think about during this morning connection. All right, I always want to make sure I say hello to you where you're watching me live uh, from Instagram. I see Hellboy, I see Mark, uh, Leston, good to have you here. My wife, Carrie LaCour, she's always supporting uh, everything that I do to come to you. We, have, we all have... Uh, so much to be grateful for my wife, Carrie, uh, who supports me so I can bring the passion, I can bring the energy, all right? I can show up for our work, and I really call that our work, and I'm just as uh, accountable to you. You being here turns me on, makes me step up every single day, and I hope that you coming here every single day, it's making you step up too. Hearing a lot of great comments that you guys are getting addicted to this process. I'm addicted to this process. It's only making us become uh, better men. Right, this uh, morning connection, all of my uh, the information, the passions from our perspective, we're a little bit older, we've got busy, productive lives, we want to fit it all in, we live with that sense of urgency, because we've got more time behind us than in front of us. And, that, and when I say that, let's just empower us to take on the day, use our talents and abilities to the fullest, align our willpower, focus, energy, and time in a direction every single day. And again, that's what this is all about. That's what you remind me of every time I turn on this camera and I come to you. And every single time you are here too, hopefully that triggers that. Again, today I want to talk about how to be grateful during the hard times. How to be grateful during the hard times. You know, look, you don't need me when times are going just amazingly awesome, right? Everything you're doing is clicking. You're getting rewarded for all of your hard work. All the people in your life get you and the value that you provide. Everything is going smoothly, right? Uh, you know, if that's the time for you, congratulations, you've earned it. I am sure that, you know, um, the best things in life are reserved for those men who are the mentally toughest, emotionally toughest, have that heart and gut. I, I talk about it, nothing is given away. You know that, you know that. So when you're enjoying great times, if that's you right now, congratulations. You know, a lot of times, uh, you know, uh, it's not necessarily the hard times. Uh, it's that time in between when we're trying to just get everything together. You know, we know we have so much uh, uh, talent and ability in front of us. It's, it's just aligning everything, those times in between. Sometimes uh, that those can be the toughest times. Right, we're a little bit over. We've achieved success in our life, but there's so much more we want to do. Just kind of get ourselves going. All right. Uh, you don't need me uh, during the good times, all right? You've earned that. You could celebrate those good times. Um, the times in between you, when you need that kick, you're not. It's not bad, but it's not good. That's when these morning connections uh, can really serve you, all right? Uh, and certainly during the hard times, all right? And uh, you know, again, I hope that life is going so well for you. Uh, the great thing about these morning connections, and uh, I hear this a lot from the feedback, is that. Maybe something that I'm talking about uh, during this morning connection or the one tomorrow whenever you're visiting me doesn't really apply to you at this particular time, right? But there's a saying, you can't unring a bell. That all this, these things that I'm talking about, our experiences as a men who are a little bit older who want more, uh, it's planted in your head. And then, you know, hopefully two weeks, three weeks, hopefully your hard times don't come up for months and months, if ever, <laughs> right? But uh, when they do, you're going to be... Uh, thinking about some of the things that we talked about that didn't apply today, but right when you need it, it just went off like a time-release um, medicine, <laughs> all right? Uh, and I hope that your hard times are somewhere in the future and uh, something we talk about today because that's when you need me during the hard times, all right? How to be grateful during the hard times. And, and I think that's, that's the biggest thing. Uh, one thing that uh, 
what I do. Because perspective is everything. That's what you're coming here for, perspective, insight, perspective. That's what men come to me for my one-on-one -on -one coaching every single week. Perspective on their journey. There's always going to be good times, challenging, hard times. All right? One thing that I realize uh, that I get myself, again, perspective is everything. How we take on the day. Uh, how we feel during the challenges. Right? And sometimes those times like are in between we can't get ourselves going. It's everything, right? One thing that I get myself to remember during the hard times is many times I volunteered uh, for the times that are challenging me, the hard times. It's the result of me stepping up, taking risk, wanting more, all right? And they just not working out, right? More from uh, my relationships, uh, my friendships, more from business. Uh, stretching myself, uh, more expectations of what I want to, what, the value that I provide. I want you, I want these guys to get it so badly, right? So when it doesn't seem like it's working out, the hard times that I've created, a lot of times I volunteered for it. You know, there's a lot of times when I go through hard times, you know what I say? I go, you know what? I volunteer this. This is the rite of passage to go through these hard times. And, you know, when I go through hard times, you know, sometimes we think that it's just us. Now, intellectually, we know that a lot of people go through it. But I'll tell you this. A lot of times, the, the men who you admire most, the men who you admire most, if you really study their autobiographies or if you look, um, you know, at their social media feeds, they will tell you about all the hard times uh, that they've gone through or they go through. Right? It's just that we admire uh, their success so much. We think, ah. Yeah, so what? They're talking about hard times. But, you know, look at all their success. They must be so proud. They must be so happy. Can't sting that much. And they're telling you how much that it did sting. The hard times are just the rite of passage for you to become that man you want to be, to have that impact, to learn how to create that impact, to really step up and use your talents and abilities to the fullest. It's the hard times that just give you that electrical shock. It's that war. It's losing sleep that has you access uh, the resourcefulness and the grit, the resourcefulness and the grit to actually do the things. We don't do them when it's time to celebrate. We don't pour it on when it's great. I mean, maybe we get in a pattern, right? But it's the hard times. It's the fear of the hard times that get us going. You know, we, we need to be grateful uh, that we put ourselves in the position. We have the courage to step up that we're even experiencing these hard times. I'm really talking about, you know, not the unfortunate events that... Uh, may happen to you, but even sometimes like, you know, getting hit by a car, getting injured or something like that. But even those times, you know, how much when you're sick, do you, real, do you appreciate uh, how grateful you are with your health during your hard times? You know, I, I share an instance uh, with me, I, it's the first time I'm, I'm really sharing this, is that uh, over the last, I don't know, a couple months or so, you know, I've been pushing myself really hard, taking on stress. I tell you, you know, that stress is what builds character, which makes you figure things out. I want the most for you. I want to produce more. I want to produce for, more for my family. You know who I want to produce more for? is for myself. Because I've, I've uh, uh, accumulated, I've worked hard for all this, uh, these talents and skills and abilities and opportunity. And I want to, <laughs> before I take my last breath, I want to know that I maximize everything I created. Not just kind of take me there, have potential, set it up. That I've really actually used it. So I put a lot of stress on myself. You know, I was feeling something like in my heart. You know, I was going, that doesn't feel good. Because I, fortunately, I've had, you know, amazing health. And I'm like going, mm, that doesn't feel good. And, you know, as guys, you know, you kind of just, like, slough it off. Right? <laughs> and it was just like, it was kind of persisting, kind of coming in and out. And I'm thinking, man, this is not good. <laughs> I finally said to my wife, you know, Need to make an appointment. And I'm telling you, uh, those hard times, I was imagining that. Well, I'm only 57. <laughs> even if this isn't a big deal, my heart, my ticker, even if this isn't a big deal, I mean, what's my heart going to be like 10 years from now? Man, and I just was like, I said, this, this can't end right now. I, this, can't, this can't be happening right now. I was just thinking about my kids and how old they were, right? went to the doctor and thankfully, you know, he said, and, and so I'm sitting here expecting, the nurse took my blood pressure, it's perfect, right? I'm trying to talk to the nurse like, oh, does that mean anything? And she's kind of laughed like, you're not gonna get anything from uh, your blood pressure, right? <laughs> but I was hoping that, that was, isn't that a good sign? Can I just get out of here now, <laughs> right? Because if there was something wrong with my arm, my blood pressure would be that way. 
She just, she just kind of laughed. And the doctor came in and he just went, mm -hmm. and I'm sitting here describing this and everything like that, you know, giving him my uh, assessment of what I thought might be going on, right? <laughs> And he said, well, does this, and does it wrap around? And I go, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And when he just, I, I don't even know the name of the term, but he said, yeah, when you get a little bit older, and it's not from a training injury or anything like that, he goes, you know, just there's cartilage on the sternum, and for some reason, it separates a little here when you get older. It just takes a long time to heal, and it wraps around, and that's it. And I go, yeah, yeah, are you all right, Don? And he said, <laughs> he goes, yeah, 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 he's really uh, certain about it, right? And I went, Eureka! Woo! <laughs> you know, uh, because I made promises to myself, right? Uh, if this, I'm okay, oh, I am going to lean in. I am going to just make, I, you think I worked hard before? Uh, Lord, give me one more shot and I will just really lean in, right? You know how you make these those promises, right? <laughs> and uh, and it, so even something like your health, the, the challenging times, I use that example, Right? It makes you appreciate all the gifts that we have. Hard times, challenge times, uncertainty. You know, if we choose to look at it that way, um, it, it makes us come alive to use our talents and abilities to make more precious time. We need that contrast sometimes to really step into our all. all right? And sometimes we need to take a day out of the gym, uh, figure to literally out of the gym, right? because our, our intensity, our passion wanes. And we may not feel like it, but we're maybe going on a seven, eight clip. If we take a week off, our body needs to rest and recover anyway. But if we come back with that, oh, that passion and intensity, something that we didn't feel. Sometimes it's the hard times are just like taking that week off the gym. You, you don't want to take that week off the gym. You don't want to experience that. You come back, you're a little uncoordinated, but you realize that you needed that contrast all right, to really go after it. Right? Hard times can serve that way too. A lot of times, again, we volunteer. It's the big boys. It's the rite of passage. The hard times you're going through is what every great man who you admire has gone through. It gives you that uh, perspective. All right, so when the hard times are through that, you'll really come out with their more strength, more perspective to really use your talents and abilities. Sometimes, you know, if we're going to go through them anyway, right, we've got to look at it, it positive. We've got to be grateful for our hard times. It gives that perspective. Really take advantage of our abilities to the fullest. So, uh, yeah, that's going to do it for uh, today's uh, Morning Connection. Again, I want to come to you with uh, the information and inspiration that you need at this particular time. It'll be amazing if I do that right when every single day. I hope that right now isn't hard times for you. I hope that this isn't something that you need until later, much later. But when you do, you think about hard times, how you can even be grateful during the hard times. That mindset is everything as you take them on, as you take them on and uh, Hopefully, uh, the message, the thing that I have to think about is serving you right now, and if not right now, later, just when you need it. All right, so hey, make sure that you go to skippercore.com front slash transformation. You want to be the total package, you want to be this mental, emotional stud at your age, a little bit older, and you want to know the strategies, uh, the disciplines for eating, a training to be the total package, right, in addition to this mental toughness conditioning. You want to join my 12-week fitness transformation journey that is specifically designed uh, for older men who are like me, who are like you, right? To live with passion and energy, become the total package, your best both inside and outside of the gym. Go to skiplacore.com front slash transformation. Do it. It's starting really soon, all right? Uh, so click that link. Uh, wherever, whenever you're listening to this, wherever you're listening to this on a, on a podcast, you're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, Twitter, whatever it is, Click that link over skipcore.com front slash transformation. Watch the video of that. Talk about this journey, this intimate, private journey that you and I are going on. And then we join the rest of them in for 12 weeks pushing ourselves. Right, The strategies that you need, uh, training strategies that you need, the eating strategies that you need, the mindset. Get clear on your particular goals. A lot of one-on-one -on -one time with you. Three hours and more as we stay connected uh, for the 12 weeks and beyond. Once you're part of... Uh, our family, my family, the connection, have this forever, even well beyond uh, the 12 weeks that we spend together. So go to, I, I look forward to having that type of connection, going through this journey of life with you. A little bit older, we look at the world a little bit differently, right? So go to skipacore.com for slash transformation, fill out that questionnaire, watch the video. I'll talk to you even today. I'll text you, 
uh, I'll email you. We'll set up some time to talk one on one over the phone, see if it's a great fit for you. All right, so uh, take, make the most out of this day. Live with a sense of urgency. Use your talents and abilities to the fullest. We got to at this age, right? Uh, connect, love, right, with the people you love. Produce, uh, start that new side hustle. Uh, take that business to the next level. Work hard, work smart to get that promotion. Right? Your legacy is at stake. Let's take on that day, this day, with a sense of urgency. Our health, fitness, let's take care of ourselves. Eat right, chain right. Let's live with that sense of urgency. Remember, everything in life runs in patterns. Some are more complex than others. That's the empowering belief. Even when I'm going through hard times, there is a pattern to get through these hard times. I can figure it out. You can figure it out. If someone's figured it out, we can do it too. Everything in life runs in patterns. Let's just be resourceful. It's gritty. Let's figure out the pattern even it takes us. A little bit longer right expect the best from your self today expect the best from your efforts expect the best from other people they're gonna get the value that you provide the energy the passion that you provide they will get you just keep on keeping how can they not get you you are a force to be reckoned with have a great day